Hey guys. So today I'm going to make a kite and I've got a lot of different things we're going to need. So I've got cling wrap, uh, straws, tape, string, sharpie, and scissors. So first you're going to get five straws. And these ones are bendy. Six. These ones are bendy. So we're going to cut off the bendy part. We don't need them to bend. Oops. Maybe we'll save the bendies and do something with them later. All over the place. Okay. So, what we're going to do with our five straws we're going to put one inside the other. To do that, we're going to bend a little bit this edge. And when you've got a little bend in it, you can stick it inside the other one. So you got to bend it to make it small enough to fit inside the other straw. Okay? So we're going to do that twice to make three straws long. And then once the other way. So we'll have one that's three straws long. And then this will only be two straws long. Very nice. Okay, so you can already see my kite shape. I'm pushing this in a little more so it's less crooked. There you go. So you can already see my kite shape. Um, so what I'm going to do now is put that off to the side and get my wrap out. I need a sheet of wrap that's big enough for my straws to fit on. That's about perfect. And so I can cut it. Or if it's got it in a box, you could tear it with the box tear. You know how it's made to tear? And cut all the way across. There we go. So, got my straws and my cling wrap. Be careful with the cling wrap because it is clingy. If you let it, it will wind all up and be a big mess. So, make sure it's stuck down to the table simply. Okay, so now you arrange your, your kite how you want it. Take your sharpie and just real easily outline the kite shape you're going to need to cut out. Now, right here, this, this extra bit, this is going to be a triangle we'll also cut out. That's called the keel, and it's going to help it fly straight if our kite works. So, you'll just make a triangle right there. Okay, so now i got to cut that out carefully. See how it bunches up if you're not careful? You might need a friend to hold it for you. You take turns cutting. Cut down my line. Be careful not to pull on it too because cling wrap stretches really easy and if it stretches your kite's going to be all stretched out and weird. Okay, so I cut off my little key right here. I'll put that to the side. Lay it back out. It sticks to itself really easy. Yeah, it'll probably be easier if someone holds it for you. So the extra bits can be put off the side. You don't need those anymore. Just need your kite shape. And I would rather cut it bigger than smaller. So, because uh, you can't, you can't put back on it, but you can always cut off more if you need to later, so. One more edge to do, but I gotta pull it loose here. Excellent. Okay, so now if you have a friend help you, you guys can pull it out straight, lay it back flat. Yeah, we'll probably do this in pairs because it seems like it'll be a lot easier with someone to help me. There we go. Excellent. Okay. 
So we need our straws back. There. And there. Now this part, we're going to start taping stuff down. Now don't use too much tape because the kite has to be light, right? To be able to fly. So, get yourself a strip. Another thing you can do as partners. Oops, my strip's a little thin. That's okay, it'll work. Get yourself a strip of tape. And tape once down on this side. Make sure it's where you want it because once you tape it, this tape is not going to come off this cling wrap. Okay? You'll have to cut a whole new cling wrap if you mess it up. So make sure you get it where you want it the first time. And then one on the other side. Again, I gotta get it where I want it because it's gonna be stuck once I tape it down. There we go. Now line up this part. Same thing across the other way. going to lay down in the middle of your kite and it's going to need to be taped to the middle of your kite. Pretty long piece of tape to go down it. So just taping it into this middle piece and if you did it right you should be able to pull it up and flip it the other way. See? So it should be able to go both directions. And I can tape it down on this side too. Okay, so now I've got this keel that goes up and down the middle. See, it's standing up by itself right now. Okay. Now I'm going to make my kite's edges. See how it's all wibbly because this plastic wrap is thin? Yeah. Measure out the edge. Cut it, and I'm going to tape it down to the table, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to pick it up and fold the tape over. Do that for the first side. Do the next side. Take one, just pull it up off the table carefully. The kite will come with it. And then I'll flip the whole thing over and fold those tape edges down to make the sides of my kite how I want them. extra bit like right here, cut that stuff off. There you go. Okay. So there's the body of my kites. Oops, there's a little extra bit, we don't want that. There's the body of my kites. Peel. Help it fly straight. And so what we gotta do now is make the um, mechanism that you hold it on. So we need a string that's about as wide as the kite is. Maybe a little bit wider. So cut it, let's make it, say, about that much. So about as wide as the kite and a half. Maybe as tall as the kite, yeah. About as tall as the kite is. And what you're gonna do is find where your straw is attached and slide it underneath. There we go. Try not to stretch out your plastic wrap. And then we're going to have to tie it on. Do a little double knot here. There you go. So that's tied to that side of the string. I mean that side of the kite. And we have to do it on the other side too. Go right under your straw. So nice and 
tape in the way. It's a little more difficult. You could just tape it on too, I guess. We'll try that on this side and see. I'll do an experiment. So this side, I'm just going to get a little bit of tape and tape my string on. string. Oops. Well, it fell, but I'll have it tied to the middle of this. And so when I take it outside, I'll be able to see if it flies. Okay. Um, how we're going to be able to do signs is on the flat side where the straws are underneath. I'm going to use Sharpies and I'll cut all kinds of designs make mine a silly face, I think. And I have colored Sharpies too, so I could do stuff like that. There you go. Alright guys, I'm going to go test out my kite. Oops, see if it works well. We're going to be making our own kites. Okay, I know it was pretty hard. Um, that's why I think we'll do it in pairs and help each other. Um, it'll probably take quite a few days, but we're going to try our best. All right. Oh, yeah, and we'll need to write our names in Sharpie on our kite, too, so that we know whose is whose. Yeah, okay. Bye, guys.